Three. What's up, everybody? It's Danny and... Gray, Carlton Toys. How about that, guys? He finished up the intro. It's Danny and Gray's Carlton Toys. Yard sale finds. We got a new series, right? Now, every Saturday during the uh, spring and summer months, we go yard selling, right? And we'd like to bring you guys along the way and show you each and every week what we get at the yard sales. Between me and Gray and the stuff that we find, we'd like to just share it with you guys. So this is our first video into the series. We're going to try it out. You guys leave us a comment, a like. Let us know what you think about it. And maybe it'll give us ideas of what we can do differently or what we could do next time and, and so forth. So without further ado, we're going to start showing some stuff that we got at the yard sales. Now I do have two items of clothing and I won't be doing a lot of clothing because I know that's kind of boring. But the reason I'm doing these is because of what's on them. We went to the first yard sale and we struck out pretty, I mean we didn't strike out, we got pretty good. He got a uh, John Cena shirt. So there's that. Then he got another John Cena shirt, which is uh, pretty nice. Right there it is. Kind of show it. I promise Daddy, I won't be doing a lot of uh, of uh, shirts and stuff like that, clothing. That's just not something we're going to do. But we only done that because we're in the wrestling. Them. No, these are yours. Okay. Then later on, Gray. Went to a yard sale, and he found a... Now, this brings back some memories. I used to play with these when I was little. I don't know if any of you guys ever did. But they call them rescue heroes. And this is one of the police officers. I forget what these backpack things were. You can, like, put essential stuff and oh, I think it was, like, a clip-on thing. So, he found a rescue hero that he liked. When was the copyright date? That was... 2001 so this is not the oldest ones that they make but still very cool to find a rescue hero then we went to a yard sale and i seen where my wife spotted it out they had like a bunch of baggies of grab bags and stuff it was a lot of girl stuff she pointed out to me that uh there was a disney car in there and i seen that and that's finn mcmissile and this is actually a rare car i only paid a dollar for this bag so we'll show um, you guys what we got in here. We got this little wind-up car. You uh, turn it, and I'll kind of show you guys what goes on. You, you turn the knob, and then it goes. It's really old looking. It's got a messed up wheel too, so. It's kind of seen its better days. Uh, I don't even know. These were these were McDonald's cars. I don't even know when these came out, but it's got McDonald's. So that was a Happy Meal toy. And then he got this transformer that has definitely seen its better days. I got to kind of work on it. It's Bumblebee though. I like that they put that Chevy emblem too. Got to put that on there. I just seen that. Which I know this is a Camaro, so they would just about have to. But this is a Bumblebee. So that was in the bag. And then this is the real reason why I really got the bag for our Disney car collection. It's Finn McMissile as a uh, submarine. And this car alone, uh, new in the package, is going for, I looked at, uh, like $45. And out of the package, I would just about cut it in half because, uh, I mean, this one's in great shape. No, no nicks or dings or anything. It's just basically perfect condition. So, uh... That was well worth the bag that we paid the dollar for. Right there's the dollar. And then, the same yard sale, they had like this little bin that had uh, free on it. Now, my son likes these free bins. And I told him, I said, only choose two items out of that bin to leave some more for the other kids. He chose old Bugs Bunny. And he chose this little old... Uh, frog thing, and this is like my first time seeing this too. I, I, I'm gonna guess it hops. We're gonna guess. Boo! Oh, he cut flip. Boo! Look at him go. Cut and flipped on Danny and Gray's cars and toys here. And he stops. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know he done that. Yeah. Yeah, he does that. Look, there he goes again. He's trying to pop one. 
Then, I think the same yard sale, or maybe another one. I don't, I don't think this was the same one. Anyways, they had these movies um, in a bin. And uh, I asked the lady, I said, how much are the movies? And uh, she said a dollar a piece, and they had Blu-rays in there too, so I was expecting those to be more, but they were a dollar too. So I wound up found the Ghostbusters uh, first first movie. I know John over at uh, The Past is Alive would love love this. He's a big Ghostbusters fan, so am I. But um, I don't have it on Blu-ray. I have I have all the other versions of it. I didn't have it on VHS. But look, brand new sealed for a dollar. Can't go wrong with that. Just wait a second, and then we're going to show the other one. The other one is a good uh, classic film, too. Oh, the movie. Okay, you can look at it there, buddy. The other one's a good classic, too, and definitely worth a dollar any day, because I know this movie's at least 15 to $20 every year that they bring it out at Christmas time. It's an old uh, film, uh, A Christmas Story. I never really watched it much. I watched it a couple times, but I figured I'd just get it, I mean, for a dollar. Why not? Especially being a Blu-ray. There were several other movies in there that I was kind of thinking about getting, but I didn't. Um, kind of wish I would have at least uh, thought about it now more, but, you know, at least I got those. And then uh, Gray, later on, I think his, um, his, his grandmother, Nanny, whatever, she got him some coloring books. So, whoa, our, 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 our board's falling in the back here, Gray. He got some coloring books. Nothing wrong with a little bit of coloring action, is it, Gray? Got a Ninja Turtle. Then another Paw Patrol one. So those were cool. And then I uh, wound up going to another yard sale and I grabbed this movie, Mr. Mom. And I don't think I've seen it. I may have, but it's a good uh, family-oriented uh, movie from what I was looking at the back. It's rated PG, so maybe something we can watch together or something other. All right, there's your another movie, buddy. And then our last stop... Yeah, we'll just consider this into the yard sale stuff. We went to Edward McKay's uh, and grabbed these two wrestling figures and a belt came with one of them, so none other than the spooky Bray Wyatt. The Wyatt family. He's just coming back, too. He's got a new character. It's kind of weird and out there for anybody that's watching WWE right now. Kind of scares my son a little bit, too. Which Bray Wyatt's always been scary, but... Um, there's him. Right there. Then, right there. none other than the big dog just had his move to SmackDown. Roman Reigns. And then look what he came with. The WWE Championship. So we'll hoist that on his little arm there. Set him up. This is our uh, first elite Roman Reigns. And this one's our first elite um, for Bray Wyatt. Got all the little tattoos and whole, whole nine yards. I don't know if he came with a vest or not. Yeah, that's the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. You'll have to watch that movie sometime, okay? But, um, got these two. So, um, all together, I think we done really well. Um, setting for our first weekend for yard selling. Now, there will be one of these videos every week if we find something. And, um, hopefully we do. Um, but every week we'll show, show you guys what we find. And let me see the movies. Let me see the movies. I'm going to lay those right there so we can get a big view. This is what we picked up. Everything. All here together. And uh, we're at nine minutes. So I guess we're going to cut this. Remember what I said, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And please leave a comment. We want to know what you guys think about this series. Maybe we could change something up. Maybe we could do it a little bit different. Who knows? But, yeah, but we're going to go for now, and we're going to tell them all bye-bye, and we hope that they enjoy, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. All right.